on it. I married a cross-dresser. Really? I married a cross-dressing, tattooed, drug-addicted bigamist with multiple personality disorders. How's that? Don't give me that look. You're the one that went tasteless and vulgar. I'm just trying to help you out. I want real, okay? Something with a little bit more edge than accessories for fall. What, Erica doesn't have an edge? Erica needs to stretch a little. Why? We're, we rule the time slot. The Corinth serial murders. Oh, great. Something family-oriented. I see a Thanksgiving special. No, I think we need something a little hard-hitting after the infidelity show. Uh, who's on the schedule I'll for... I'll get the schedule. Thanks. October, right? November. All right. Michael Delaney's here to see you. Who? The history teacher from Pine Valley High. You signed up to do career day. Oh, yeah. Can you tell him I have typhus or something? Let, let Ted do it. His wife sits in on Delaney's class. Dixie? What on earth for? Can you please talk later? I'm in a meeting. It's more like a war council. Your stockholders are deserting in droves. I can handle it. With a strategic alliance, that's where I come in. You know, that's such a nice offer. Well, talk to my man in Chicago. He says what we need I to do I have my own man in Chicago. I can handle this. This is my problem. I am not a team player. This is a crisis situation, Haley. Yes, one that I created by letting go of the reins in the first place. Are you equating me with Alec? No. No, I am not. All I'm saying is I can do this on my own. Enjoy your lunch. Would you try to talk some sense into her? Was that wise? I beg your pardon. We need all the help we can get. We. Oui. Adam Chandler is backup? Plenty of CEOs would kill for that. Yes. Daddy rescues lipstick princes. I'm sure that will really instill confidence in our stockholders. Look, I know what I'm doing. What we need here is a big media boost. We need to launch the cheating campaign right away, as soon as possible. American Naturals. You and Alec weren't on, in sync on this? Why, he changed the name? He scrapped the whole project. And nobody, nobody cleared that with me first? He said it was your idea. And you believed him? Why wouldn't I? You're right. You're right. <clears throat> he had the Haley Vaughn seal of approval on everything. I'm a genius. No wonder our stockholders are running for cover. Alec fooled everyone. Not just you. <sighs> Would you like to uh, order something? I know what I want. Uh, uh, you should make that to go. Because I want the American Naturals campaign on the launch pad no later than six. That's not enough time. All right, then. You have until eight. Just give me a minute, please. Can we talk now? As long as it's not about enchantment. What are you trying to prove? Listen, I'm a big girl. I caused this problem. Now I have to get myself out of it. The genuine TV executive. Man, my kids are going to be psyched. Well, I think it's really wonderful what you're doing. Look, if you're going to cancel on me, just let me know so I can find somebody else to replace you. Well, if I do get a stand-in, I'll get somebody who has a really strong background and great interpersonal skills. It sounds like you have somebody in mind already. No, no, it's not that. I, I, re I really am committed to being there. I, I have a very sentimental place in my heart for Pine Valley High. Mm, so I heard. What did you hear? I heard that you graduate. Is that it? Um, not quite. Care to elaborate? Mmm, not really. No. Yes or no question. Will Dixie Martin be there? Would that be a problem? Not for me. I can't say anything about her. Dixie's pretty secure. That's good. So's her husband. Yeah. I think things are going swimmingly around here. Did you know that uh, he was up for this job, my job? Mm hmm So you're up on everything. <laughs> yeah. Um... Oh, here's your uh, career day guide. Oh. Oh, this is wonderful. It's really pulled together. Well, planning is the easy part. Implementation is uh, a different story. You know? My instinct says that you implement very well. Do they really? 
You're a far cry from my history teacher. He wore sandals and socks. Thomas Birkin, right? He's still there. Pickled in formaldehyde? Oh, possibly. <laughs> Quite possibly. Oh, I have a million Birkin stories. Maybe I could share some with you over lunch. I know you have to keep up appearances, but I can advise you from behind the scenes. That's lovely. I, I don't want your advice. I don't want anyone's advice. Why do you want to make this harder than it has to be? Haley, this fierce independence can work against you, you know. Take it from someone who's learned the hard way. Ah, learn is the operative word there. I've been running enchantment for a while now, and if I don't have it down by now, I should find a new career. Honey, you're in a tight spot here. Life is full of them. All right. My money's still on you. I, I need a phone, please. You like long shots. <laughs> I'm not the only one. No, I guess you're not. Table 8 needs a phone. That's your station. Help me out, Matt. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why don't you join us? So you're a history buff, huh? Well, I think I might have been if I hadn't had Birkin for three terms. The first wave of Puritan migration... Set the American personality in the store. I'm sorry, this is a private conversation. Can anybody reminisce? No, not at all. Uh, Tad Morton, this is Michael Delaney. Hi. Damn glad to know you. Yeah, you too. Trevor's brother-in-law, we've met, what, two hundred times? hundred times, at least. Right. Trevor? <laughs> you have been gone a long time. Perhaps too long. Well, listen, if you'd like a lesson on Pine Valley social history, maybe we should pencil in that lunch. Um, maybe not. I got a lot of cafeteria duty to do, you know. Well, there's always breakfast. Let me know. Um... Call me if you have any questions. What is the meaning of life? <laughs> Hardy, Hardy, har, har, har. It's very funny. About career day. Um, <laughs> I'll okay. see you. See you later. Tonight. Okay, bye. Tonight. Take care, Mike. Okay. What's tonight? If I may ask. Pine Valley High School Harvest Band. Very funny. I'm not kidding. Dixie and I are supposed to chaperone. What is the world coming to? Tad Martin patrolling our youth. Yeah, the old ball and chain thought we'd head over there on 10 o'clock, passed out some condoms. It's a joke, Liza. Will Michael's wife be there? No, actually, Michael's, uh, not married. Really? Yeah, you're gonna have to work on that, though. What? Will Michael's wife be there? I don't know what you're babbling about. Don't you have work to do? You want to cut the makeover segment for love addicts? Anything but 21st century eyeliner. Liza? Liza Colby! Oh, Dr. Martin, it's so good to see you. Indeed. Yeah. I had no idea you were back in town. How long will you be staying? Until Hollywood calls, Dad. Let me introduce WRCW's new station manager. Well, I, I didn't know you were up for the job. It was a last-minute development. I beat Tad by a hair. Well, congratulations. I'm sure your mother's very proud. Well, you know, Mother... Listen, I have some calls I have to make, if you'll excuse me. Big trouble, Pop. Yeah, I can see. Oh, no, I wasn't talking about Liza. So far, that's going quite well, actually. You must be very disappointed. Oh, believe me, right now, that's the least of our worries. Yeah. Well, my service said it was an emergency. What's going on? You heard from Kate. No, I mean, Father's uh, Day card. To my grandfather, a thought to cherish through the years. Memories come and memories go, but trust funds are forever. <laughs> I always like that, kid. Anything since? No. no what's, what's wrong? Well, I don't want you and Mom to freak out, okay? Don't go around calling out the Marines, but uh, apparently Kate has run away from the Greeley School again, and it's not the first time, according to Tara. Well, I know uh, Tara was very tense during few phone calls up. How, when did it happen? I don't know. I haven't got the details. Uh, Charlie got the SOS. After all, she is his little sister. He's out there trying to track her down right now. Well, looks like our little Kate is turning out to be quite a handful. 
her to schmooze the guests. Well, if they give us a hard time, we'll just buy the hotel. Sit down. Have a cup of coffee. Matt has to work, Dad. That's right. Six tables and counting. Get somebody to cover for he you. He said no. I see. Well, some other time, Dad. We'll see. What was that all about? I don't have time for fun and games. I have a company to save. You also have a life. Well, I, I, not right now, okay? I don't have time to play you, around. You have to have make time for people who love you. You're starting to sound like your greeting card. Mateo was a rock for you during this Alex situation. Don't turn your back on happiness, sweetheart, just because you've had some disappointments. And who are you supposed to be, dear Aggie? No, I'm your father, who wants what's best for you. Fine. And let me get back to work, please. This is Haley. Give me advertising. Well, this has been fun. Some other time, perhaps? Sooner or later. Oh. Are you and Haley having a fight? I'm not going to discuss this with you. Everything was going so well. What happened? It's over. Okay? Oh, nonsense. It's just getting started. Well, I guess you're not up at the latest, which is fine. It's really no business of yours. What, have you had a lover's quarrel? We're not lovers. Oh, Mateo, please. I saw you and Haley on the beach. You hired private detectives? See a nice set of 8 by 10 prints? I was there. You know, it's no wonder Haley can't get her life straight. And you and Arlene are like a curse. Arlene was about to descend on you. I stopped her. I was following Arlene, not Haley. I had to drag her out of there. Fine. What do you want to know? What is with you? Just back off. L listen. Haley and her life has attracted more snakes than your, your world-class snake charmer. I would like to see that come to an end. Now, I don't know you from the man in the moon, quite frankly, but I do sense that you're not a blood-sucking reptile. Thanks. Haley won't let me close enough to her to help her. I need you to do that. Newsflash, I've been canceled. <sighs> what? Yeah. Your daughter doesn't want me anywhere near her. So find yourself another boy. I had that on tape. Why not to marry Adam? A brief refresher course in survival. Uh, give me Reed in new product. Well, I don't care. Th call him at home. Then go to his house and prop him up and put the phone to his ear. I'm sorry, but he can't get sick until I get a whole new product line. My daughter's life is in pieces. I want to help her. Mix, meddle, and manipulate. Some things never change, and you are one of them. Another reason you should marry me. I need to be reformed. As if I could do that. You came a lot closer than anyone else had. All right, so let's try with this. On for size. Leave Haley and Mateo alone. He's, he's good for her. He told you it's over. Yeah. It's over. Like your engagement to me is over. You are delusional. Eric is on vacation, effective immediately. I beg your pardon? You have been running my wife into the ground. She is now on indefinite leave. Would you like to tell me what in the world you're talking about? Look, you have, you have turned this place into a, into a pressure cooker. My wife is reeling from your demands. She passed out today. Eric is in the hospital. No. But a doctor told her to rest. For how long? What, the, well, what difference does that make? He told her to ease up, which she can't do here. Okay, we will schedule some time off for Erica. When she comes in tomorrow, we'll sit down and we'll work it out. Erica will not be here tomorrow or the next day or next week. My wife is on vacation. Vacations are scheduled in advance. Not this one. Especially this one. I don't want you to think I'm being unreasonable, but it doesn't sound like a medical emergency. I don't care what it sounds like to you. Then we'll make some arrangements which will benefit Erica and the show. Damn this show. Are you speaking for Erica? I want you to listen carefully. I want you to listen carefully. Listen to how slow I am talking. My wife. 
wife, Erica, is on vacation. No, Erica is not. I got it. I want this to sound unreasonable, but this does not sound like a medical emergency. Well, I, I, could, I could care less how it sounds. Well, I'm sure that we can come up with some sort of an agreement that's good for Erica and the show. Yeah, damn this show! Are you speaking for Erica? Listen carefully, I'm going to speak slowly so you understand. Erica's on vacation. No, Erica is not. Oh, in other words, you're indifferent to Erica's physical and emotional uh, uh, pain. Is that it? I think I made myself very clear. Hey, guys, what's going on? Erica needs time off to cope with exhaustion, anxiety. Mr. Merrick, I think the best thing that you can do is to make sure your wife gets a good night's sleep. Because if she doesn't show up here tomorrow, WRCW will be forced to take legal action. Let's all stay cool, not lose our heads. After all, there are ways to resolve uh, conflict without uh, lobbying uh, more uh, heads. Uh, legal action? She has a contract, a very lucrative agreement with WRCW that actually requires her to show up and to perform on schedule. Tad, would you please get the schedule? I don't give a damn about your schedule. Who does she think she is? The station manager, my boss. Merrick would like us to believe that our star is suffering from a nervous breakdown and wants an indefinite leave of absence. <sighs> Just a few weeks. Tad, she's not taking care of herself. She, she's forgotten to eat. Her, her blood pressure's low. She fainted when she got home. I'm sorry to hear that. She's under the gun. Wait, Tad, wait, she wait, has wait, got wait, to slow down. First things first. Did she see a doctor? Her personal physician and Maria both. And will you out. please tell him what they said? No food, hunger, exhaustion caused her to faint. All she needs is a good night's rest. Oh, come on, lady, you are trying my patience. I think what Liza's trying to say... I don't care what to... she's trying to say. The fact is, my wife's health is my primary concern. Now, she will not report to work tomorrow. She will not perform on command. And when she's well enough to return, I'll let you know. Uh, Dimitri. No, let him go. Mr. Merrick, if Erica doesn't show up here tomorrow, she's in breach of contract. And she may not have a job to come back to. You call your lawyers. I suggest you remember one thing. Yes. This television station and its money cow, the cutting edge with Erica Kane. It may be your whole life. It's, it's not you, you may have misinterpreted a couple of things, Eliza. She has more career opportunities and time to consider. My wife doesn't need this job. So we'll see you in court. Dimitri, come please. Well, they're made for each other. What do you think? What do I think? I think you couldn't have possibly handled that worse if you tried. Well, I hope you don't have plans this evening. As a matter of fact, I do. Then you'll be canceling them. Because I think we're going to be here all night. Work all night to fix this mess that Erica's gotten into, so be it. Liza, don't jump the gun. We can jerry-rig next week's shows, but we got to do something about the cutting edge. We need a new host. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. It hasn't gone anywhere near that far yet. Nothing is set in stone, nothing is definite. We can still talk some sense into Erica. Yeah, you heard her husband. Yeah, I did. You ticked him off. Besides, yeah. who cares? He's not a mouthpiece. You could go home, she finds out he was here, she gives him hell. Let us pray. Yeah, well, praying isn't going to pay the payroll. Well, Iris, could you send Jason in, please? I need to think about dinner. Any recommendations? Serving spoons, tell him dinner? Yeah. yeah really? Cool. Jason, we need to order some dinner. Pasta, salad? Fine. Okay. Breadsticks, cheese on the side. Unless, mm -hmm. of course, you're still a meat potatoes man. No, cheese is fine. 
Great. Could you order dinner for us? Sure. Actually, um, I'll phone it in and I'll tell the guard on the way out, but uh, Rudy asked me to cover the high school dance tonight. Oh, the high school dance. Right. Uh, well, that's my uh, first solo assignment, so wish me luck. Yeah, I will. Okay. Good luck. Thanks, Miss Colby. Uh, you'll order the dinner? Yeah. Oh, see you tomorrow. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'll take it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No one's answering at the high school office. I'll just have to try again. So, you think we should give Eric another chance? I certainly do. Okay, you win. We'll take a copy of her contract, we'll go to her house, and we'll confront her. Confront? Yes. We'll show her the contract, we'll say strict adherence to all clauses or dismissal. Fisher cut bait, I mean, come on. Did you take psychology in high school? Because your interpersonal skills need a tune-up, just a little tweak. Huh. You have a better idea. Yeah, I do. A good night's sleep for all parties concerned. We wake up tomorrow, things might look different. Yeah, it might have been good enough. All right, then, fine. Tomorrow bright and early, you and I will go out and cut ourselves a couple of fresh olive branches, take them over there and try to smooth things over. I know, Erica, she'll come back to work. Trust me. And if not? If not. If I am wrong and you are right, then you win. Tomorrow and tomorrow only, I will take her place in oh, front of the camel. That's oh. great. It's mm -hmm. great. You've done it before, and you could do it again. Yeah. America loves what, you. Whatever. I just want to be sure on one thing, okay? It is for tomorrow and tomorrow only. After that, we get Erica back ASAP. We mm -hmm. cannot do... Wait a minute. Wait. The tomorrow, that's the thing you... With the adultery and the infidelity, right? Oh, I said, come on. You want me to do a show about cheating? Sorry. Love, marital treachery, cheating husbands and wives, stabbing each other in the back over what? Sex, money, drugs and alcohol. These are subjects that our audiences are not bored by. And Haley Vaughn is a perfect example. Yeah, well, why do we have to rub her face? Ah, uh, the famous Tad Martin conscience rears its ugly head. Liza, where's the sport in kicking somebody who's already down? Come on. Your friend Haley's CEO of Enchantment, right? Major corporation with nervous stockholders due to the juicy adultery bit. I'm sure she would love a chance to clear the air. She's a public figure. Public figures do not have private lives of their own. Let's admit it. And this is a business, a business in which you cannot have a soft heart. And you also should be praying that Erica comes back to host the show. She's the expert on adultery. Although, you're no slouch either. <laughs> I had to hear it from Enid Nelson, of all people. But here you are, back in Pine Valley. Darling, I can't understand why you wouldn't even tell your own mother. <coughs> Hi, Mary. Tad. Oh, well. Now perhaps I do understand. become quite the devoted family man. Yes, Mother, I've been brought up to speed on Ted's personal life. Did you know that he literally came back from the dead to be reunited with the woman he loves? I mean, Ted and Dixie's storybook romance has become a local legend. I mean, a love like theirs comes along once in a lifetime. A love that um, others only dream of. We have work to do. Mind? Oh, darling, what a treat. It's rare that I get to see two consummate pros in action. Excuse me, not that this isn't oodles of fun, but we are busy. If Erica does decide to form those shows... Oh, Erica, temperamental diva to the end. I have complete faith in our lineup, no matter who hosts the show. I know the perfect replacement. Forget it. The FCC will never approve you for the airwaves. Oh, not me, darling. Dixie. Come again? Your wife, Dixie Cooney Martin. Oh, what a name to wrap a show around. Have you been drinking? Darling, it's inspired. Dixie's already got a built-in audience. She's known for her grit and spirit. She's uh, the renowned spokesperson for the downtrodden, crusader for victims' rights. Who is a full-time mother, student, and hospital liaison, has no spare time for the talk show circuit. Darling, the timing is perfect. Janet Green is back among the living. 
Oh, did you know the brave, noble Dixie led a whole one-woman campaign to drive that convicted murderer from our midst? Marion, um, Dixie and I have decided to ignore Jen. Oh, you're plucky, little wife is hardly the type to bury her head in the sand. We're moving on. Oh, don't be so hasty, darling. She'd add a touch of class to this tacky gab. We are not. I repeat, not going to do coffee talk with my wife and the crowbar killer, period, end of discussion. If you'll excuse us, Mother, we have a pre-production meeting for oh, tomorrow. What titillating tidbit you have to tempt your audience with. Oh, dear, dear, dear. <laughs> Marital infidelity. The crowded bedroom. Oh, well. I guess three is definitely a crowd. Say goodnight, Mother. Why the bums rush, darling? Is there a magic or mischief in the air? Hmm? Excuse us. Liza and I are right in the middle of a scheduling crisis. Neither one of us has the time nor the energy for your off-the-wall insinuations or tired innuendo. Oh, you have to love a man who can use insinuation and innuendo in the same sentence. Please. Please, oh. give us a break. Mea culpa, darling. Mea maxima culpa. I can see you're champing at the bit to get home to the bosom of your family. And, but there's no one for you to rush off to, is there, my darling, unmarried daughter? You still are, aren't you? Single, I mean. Blissfully. Oh, you know, last I heard you were, uh, at some local station in Frostbite Falls. Did you manage to find a social life? A company bowling team? Frequent pledge breaks? woman of a certain age, one can't help but look back nostalgically. The French are right, you know. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Night, darlings. Don't work too hard. We have the lineup all set. Yep. Script is ready. All we need is a host. Well, don't look at me, baby. My gig is definitely behind the camera. Why don't you do it? Oh, please. I have the show oh. before the cutting edge. I have the weekend report. I got the 4 o'clock news. Okay, years. okay, I get the idea. So, who do we know that's cheap and available? Marion! Don't you dare. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. It's such a low blow. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I apologize, all right? Well, thank the you. bottom of my heart. So... Seriously, who do we know it's available? Who can we use? I know Chef Larry. 45 minutes of non-fat cookware. Oh, oh, Liza, what about Coco? Coco the Clown? Yes, Coco the Clown. Yes, yes, no, seriously. We could do a bathroom segment. Breakaway pants, clown kitsch. Or timeless no, passes. no, no, not enough edge, not enough edge. You're the one that wants down and dirty. I say we do that infidelity segment. No, something sexual, something really seedy. Imagine, don't think about it. Something really oh, weird can happen please. between those little cars with 27 midgets jet. and a bottle of seltzer. I dream about something like that happening. Seriously. <laughs> what I could do with 27 midgets and a bottle of seltzer. Oh, oh, hi. Oh. Always leave them laughing. Oh, no, this is the first one we've had, honey, come on. Ever. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. We were just, uh... Losing it. We that was it. We were it. losing it. That's probably... Yeah. We were. Erica giving you grief? Oh, in a word, yes. Uh -huh. But we've done all the damage control we can do, so... Yes, now we'll be praying to the lady of sound stage three. Hey, what happened, uh... I, the dance can't be over already, right? No, it's not. Well, don't tell me there's trouble in the gym. A rumble. Sharks versus the gym. No, um, Janet Green showed up. Needless to say, we had words. What if Janet Green wanted a high school dance? Said she was checking up on Laura Kirk. You didn't buy it. No. But I think I may have uh, overreacted just a little bit. Oh, sweetheart, after everything she's done to us in the past, you had every right to free. I'm not scared or anything. I just feel a little silly. You know, this Janet Green sounds like quite a character. You have no idea. Cross between Ma Barker and Lizzie Borden. Maybe we should have her on as a guest. No, I thought we <laughs> killed that particular suggestion. Hmm. Not dead, just wounded. Mm-hmm. Well, if uh, we're all finished here, and there's no problems back at the uh, gym, I say you and I head back to the high school. What do you think, huh? Yeah. No problems, good. no food fights, no makeout sessions in the equipment room? Nope. 
Good, then saddle up, you teen wrangler, you. Have fun. We are out of here. <laughs> yep, tonight we eat, drink, be merry for tomorrow. Nice to see you again, Liza. You too. Burning the midnight oil can wreak havoc on the fine lines around the eyes. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm too tired to play word games with your mother. All right. I just felt that a mother-daughter chat was in order. Sans Tad. Friction free. All the tensions in your head, Tad and I are working quite well together. Oh, why? Because the old chemistry is still there? What about the old chemistry between you and Tad? I'm hardly the point. You are always the point. Liza, I want us to forge a new beginning. To usher in a new era of mother-daughter communication. Honest and above board. And when that novelty wears off, Mother... Darling, I am serious. I really want us to be close again. And if you do find yourself becoming attracted to Dad, you know you can confide in me. Because it follows that if you play with fire, you could get burned badly. You know, something you've never accepted about me, Mother. I never get burned twice. 